Hello guys, in this video I'm going to build a small street diorama in 1 to 72 scale. So let's get started. I draw the size of a diorama on paper. I highly recommend making diorama small as possible, because large models are very challenging, time consuming and expensive. You will see how much work is with this small one. I draw the location of the basic elements. I create sidewalk because it's good to make terrain uneven with different high levels. Now I have a plan how the outcome will look like. It only remains to realize this project. I use my favorite material for dioramas and that is extruded polystyrene with thickness 1 cm. It is excellent material for everything. You can simply make buildings, streets, walls and much more. It is very often using material for architectural models. So it is good for us too. This time I use it only for street texture. You can easily cut precise shape with a sharp blade and clean impurities with a sandpaper. I glue polystyrene together with a PVA glue, but I rather use special glue for polystyrene because PVA glue contains a lot of water. I glue polystyrene on a much resilient plywood board, because polystyrene is very light and fragile material. I decided to make a street less uniform, so I add rails for a tram. I use plastic rails from Hobby Boss 172 scale Kriegs Locomotive kit and cast them from resin. The basic base construction is ready. So now I can create cobblestone texture with a sharp blade. The whole process is very time consuming, therefore I am glad that the diorama is very small. Of course exists a much easier solution. You can simply buy a street from plastic or resin and thus you don't need to create the whole road from nothing. Now I have a street finished, but I can make it damaged. It will look more like a street from the end of World War II and it will be less uniform.
I make pavement texture even more uneven and damaged with the ordinary stone. The texture is now complete, but diorama does not have a lot of details. Therefore, I will try change that feeling. I add a street column, sour hatch, some barrels and destroyed BMW R12 motorcycle. Ok, now it looks much better. And it is time for painting. I unify diorama properly with a black acrylic color. When the color dries, I paint each pavement cube with a light grey acrylic color. Now I slightly unify the whole surface with a stone color. I paint cubes randomly with darker and lighter shades, because in reality each cube has a slightly different color shade. And even more shading I make with a brown earth color. Another step is to cover all gaps between cobblestone cubes with a very soft sand. I have this one from the local forest. 
but you can buy it in the railroad model shops. They have a lot of useful stuff for our dioramas. Then I fix sand with a highly diluted PVA glue. The diorama still looks very dark and dull. I like colors, therefore I need some sharp contrast to the grey pavement. What about some orange bricks from destroyed buildings? I need some easy solution how to do this. I found in my storage with nice crushed cork. I never used it before, so I forgot that I have something like this. It is also material for railroad models. Now I fix cork with a PVA glue. And when it's still wet, I change color tone with a highly diluted acrylic orange paint. Now it only remains to create some final details. Very cool would be a Soviet flag. I like to print flag and some posters on a professional laser printer. And I prefer laser printing because it does not dissolve with water. I carefully split paper with a sharp blade, because classic office paper is a quite thick. I must paint shading and highlights with acrylic colors. Flag, in this case, create a sharp color contrast to the whole diorama. And final touch, I like miniatures, so I paint two small Soviet soldiers. And I use acrylic and oil paints. And that is all. If you are not a fan of 172 scale models, then you can simply use the same methods and techniques which I used on the larger scales. It is not a problem. So here's the finished T34 model with a diorama. Thanks for watching and see you next time.